Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series and we have a couple things to work on today. One, uh, as you can see here, we have some starving Dracos and that is because of the temperature of this plant. So we're gonna have to deal with that. And now that we have plastic, I think I'm going to adjust this system a little bit so that we can uh, test for germs and then stop sending it into here if it's germy. It shouldn't, it wouldn't normally do it, but since it seems like I have gotten this set up wrong and it is not, it's emptying this one before I want it to, sometimes germs are getting in. So we will be adjusting that. Let's start with this guy. What we're going to need to do is move this sensor down here. Connect that up. And then we'll have to remove these. All right, now that that's gone, we need to get under plumbing, I believe. Let's just use this new search. Glorious, we need liquid pipe germ sensor. Stick that there. And then we're going to need another one of these. Rotate it. Like so. And then we will take our pipes. And instead of running it out here, we're going to run it up this way. So let's get these new disconnect tool. Glorious. And then we will get some pipes from here. Straight in like so. We'll see if that works. We may need to use some bridges and stuff. We'll see. So what I have set up here is this liquid shutoff is being run by this cycle sensor here so that this isn't constantly running and it has time to purify the germs out of it. Then once this clicks on what it'll do is this sensor will check for any germs in the liquid in the pipe right here. If it is germ free it will send it down this pipe which will go into our water source. If it is germy it will shut off and then force it this direction and it'll re-enter the system to try to um, get purified of germs. And then the temporary fix, since I need to rerun this water through that system to get the germs out, the, that temporary fix will be sending the water through here and then through this spot. Let's go ahead and cancel these and have them be radiant pipes. So what's happening is we're taking some of the heat here and putting it into this, or the cool, taking some of the heat out of this room and then going uh, back this way. Just because we really want to make sure that these guys are eating since they are a uh, source of plastic. So we've got eight to nine days to get this set up for them. Okay, so this should be built. Let's check. We've got our plumbing. So water... Oh, this is going in from down there just because we need to purify our water uh, source. This normally wouldn't be here. So water goes in, it enters, this is shut off for a portion of the day, but then when it's allowed it will go into this tank which it is then blocked in here for a certain portion of the day. Then once it is the right time of day it'll go through. We'll be checking for germs. If it's not germy we'll be sending it this way. If it is germy we'll send it this way look at the automation here and then if you hover it says here send a green signal if the number of germs is within the selected range we want zero so if it's zero it'll send a green and then this will when green allow liquid flow when red it will prevent it so preventing it would force it this direction so now i'm going to get this uh started up okay so there is some surplus water coming from here let's make sure this is working correct I've set up the timer so that this one, let's pause this for a second. This one works 40% of the day, so it's sending it straight into here. Then there'll be a portion of the day from here to there for it to purify, and then it will be open to send water on from there. And then there, there's a bit of a gap right here, so you can see where they are not overlapping. I have these backwards. <laughs> 
Uh, I always expect this to go, like, uh, clockwise, not counterclockwise, so I set it up so there's, like, no time between them, so let's get this scooted over. There, so now we have from here <laughs> to here for it to purify. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll ever get used to this being what feels like backwards to me. <laughs> Once we're sure this is going to work, I'm going to filter out this side get that purified and that will work to help with our plants once that this is all clear for sure I, what I'm going to do is have a timer sensor on this pump and have the water go through here and then just straight back up so that it for a portion of the day is cooling it off okay so it seems to be working like I'd expect so I'm going to start filtering this water here And you'll see here that it is really cooling off this area. Which should make these guys happy soon. So we just finished our cycle. Let's look at uh, out of this view. So we just finished this 40%. So you can see this is how much uh, got filled during that time period. If you check here, you can see the germs are almost dead. And then soon this guy will kick on and start sending it. And then we'll get to see if it catches any germy stuff. Somebody is appearing idle. So I think someone may be stuck somewhere. <laughs> oh, it does say like anyone is. So I guess I just need to give them some sweep <laughs> uh, commands or start working on this uh, mining some more. just mopped instead of building stairs. <laughs> Bubbles, are you stuck? No, okay. <laughs> I finally caught it to see who it was saying was idle. But she just felt like standing there for a bit, I guess. Oh, we've kicked on. So, let's see. So some of these were contaminated. So it is sending it this direction. Okay. So, I had to switch us around. I had this backwards. So now it is, it will send a green signal if there are less than, or equal to in this case, uh, zero germs. So it'll send the green signal, which will send it out this direction. But if they did catch a germy thing, it would go out that direction. It doesn't look like this water is germy. So I have built another pipe to send it out this way. So we're not just like potentially recycling the same water. So I'm going to build a new pipe here and then disconnect from here. And that again will be just temporary till I fix my previous problem. <laughs> As is most this game. Just fixing your problems. Just disconnect that. And there we go. We're going to send this uh, non germy water onto this half. So if this sounds a little different, it is because it is future me. I am in the process of editing the video. And the more I think about it, the less that this seems like I had it wrong. Um, I don't know what was causing it to act weird before. It was like doing every other, but I don't think from what I could tell, the water was a germy every other packet. So um, I'm going to turn this around you could do it this way. This does work. Obviously, this is working just fine. But the problem is, is this guy, because we're looking for, is there less than zero? That means this is always on. So it's always sending a grain, which means this, if we look at the wire, and you can see here, two liquid shot offs are drawing power right now. And you can see when it's not being used it doesn't use any so this one is using zero so this is going to be a constant power draw because this one is constantly sending a green so instead of checking for is this germ free yes we need to just be looking for is it germy so is it above zero and then send it so i'm going to turn this around and hope it works <laughs> all right so it looks like it is working right uh this time Again, I don't know why it wasn't working for a little bit there for me, but this way we're not constantly using power. And because we are keeping this guy full most of the time, we're not fully emptying it. I don't think we'll ever catch Jeremy um, water again, but just in case it now will get caught. So 
Yes, you will see for the rest of the episode this flipped the other direction, just because this is after I had finished recording the episode. I feel like I did some other things. Uh, you will have noticed um, this is there is some slime lung in the base. Not, not entirely sure how this is happening. Uh, I've tried to see if there's something here that's putting off the gas. Uh, I think it's just because we are um, strip mining this, and as you can see, there's a lot of slime lung here and we've been cleaning up a lot of the materials down in here i've changed it so that they're dropping that all off here um and then so that there's less slime lung entering the base sure glad that this doesn't kill your dupes anymore <laughs> yeah that's rough well they're gonna be a bit uh what does slime lung do it'll cause our duplicates uh to cough and struggle to breathe so, glad no one's caught it yet, but it, it, it may happen sometime in the near future. Anyway, back to the rest of this episode. There isn't a whole lot left that, that I'd update you guys on uh, this situation and what I'm going to be using going forward. If you were struggling with algae and you were still wanting to use like an uh, oxygen diffuser or something like that, and you needed algae, Something you could do would be use the algae distiller right here. Uh, it will take power and slime and then it will output algae and polluted water. So you could be converting all of this slime into algae if you wanted. You can also use slime in farming. I think the mushrooms? Something I have done uh, in the background is I've changed some of the pipes here. So this wasn't continuing on to this line after it finished filling this suit. So I have separated the lines. So this one used to come across and then up and then fill this area. But now it cuts all the way across, which it was doing already to get these suits. But instead of stopping at the suits, it now goes up and puts extra oxygen up here. So we should be getting these guys uh, more consistently filled and then we'll have some extra oxygen on this side of the base. And now this side of the um, oxygen generator should also be working, which it was not doing beforehand. So we've fixed the temperature problem for our mealwood in this area. And we are in the process of filtering the germs out of our little bit of water here. Um, I'm trying to think of how to go about getting the last bit without um, leaving our fish out to die. <laughs> uh, so I haven't figured that out yet. I could move all the eggs. I don't know how long they can last outside of the water, but they might be all right for a little bit. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, I fixed that until we can fit, switch out these wires. I've disconnected it here because it was the whole system was uh, pulling on this wire. But if we have it just, each one is on its own little circuit here, it should be fine and we won't get overloads. What was I saying? Don't know how long the fish will survive out of water. Um, so if we've fixed our two main problems, that and we're working on the germs. Happy to have this germ sensor. Thank God for plastic. <laughs> We are also, oh, we've also fixed this guy up a bit so that we're getting more oxygen into the base because it wasn't the best breathe breathability over here, but it's much better now. And especially because I do soon uh, plan to give them bigger, better bedrooms, which will expand up into this upper area. So it'll be good to have all that oxygen going on. So yeah. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, hope you have a wonderful day.